Roberts. Why wouldn't we blame the Clips? <laughs> and what a great way to start this episode. Hello, everyone. Welcome to episode six of The Grey Raven. Today, I am joined by RV, Malibu, Chris Pratt, uh, Cypress, <laughs> Bud, Foxleaf, and Bucci for this episode. Uh, <laughs> I just had to fully put myself in the middle of introduction to say Chris Pratt. Uh, it's Mario, guys. I didn't know that we had Mario and Grey Raven. I am going to mm. annex you. Well, you have two Marios, technically. Also, Jack Black as Bowser is pretty poggers. I, I fully agree. I, I actually think that he has a good Jesus. voice for this it. Is gonna, this is also going to carbon date this episode that's coming out. <laughs> so, oh, oh, by no. the way, this episode is gay. The episode just came out. So, uh, no. round of applause for the gay episode. Round of applause for the gay episode. <laughs> so, uh, this is everyone's supposed to be here, right? We have... Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm bad at that. Need it's enough. Fern is enough. not joining. No. Neither is Bella. Said, Random no. Wait, is it just my end that I'm not showing up green? Yeah, it's just my no, end. No, you're showing up green. green. You're showing up green where I am. Yeah, it just wasn't. It, just, yeah. it was just my end, I guess. Blame, blame the audience, which is River Song. Just blame wow, them. <laughs> River Song left. So I'm going. Welcome back. Song's back. Uh, Song's I'm going back. to pick up right where we left off, and actually, no, I'm gonna head a little bit back. This is gonna be right after the injury was healed of, of River, and, but and uh, Rabbit fully ran into an invisible cat. You heard a like a pained ouch in the distance, and then heavy paw steps as spider, deer, and the invisible cat, who we know is Shadow, all head off into the forest. And Rabbit is still trying to figure out what he ran into. So what would you guys like to do from here? Drugs. Huh? Silver feels down. pretty good about mm -hmm. helping. So. Yeah, very well done, Silver. Thank you. What are you going to do, Silver? A summary of what just <laughs> happened? I can, I can DM you a summary. Yeah, um, I so because I wrote an entire summary. I, I got that too. I'm not gonna read this all. Do I need do I need some jazz to recap? You can. I'm gonna. I, I, I have twice. it. I have it too. You said it in the tied chat. Yeah, welcome I just, to episode six. Welcome to episode six. Yeah, We're welcome. recapping episode five, where it's definitely posted. Right, definitely. Definitely not the last fine. episode, or any cases. Yeah, nothing happened. There is no war in Bossing Sex. There is no war in Bossing Sex. There is now. <laughs> there is now. So... I'm like walking over to another camp with violence in his days. Listen. Listen, 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 listen. I have good intentions in the end. Maybe not at the beginning, but in the end, I'll have good intentions. Um, maybe not at the beginning. That's a powerful move. Anyway, Silver decides to do nothing. He's just gonna stay. Just stay right in front of uh River. Just standing just right over River, staring into the wound. No, no, just kind of. <laughs> yeah, I'm not distracted by the wound now. <laughs> distracted. Um, no, now you are. Uh, Roll me a d6. No, I want to help Rabbit. <laughs> Roll me a d6. Right. Hold on, I gotta claim a number though, right? I yeah, you, you know can say a number. You say a number out loud. Okay. You say a number one I've through four. This. I've got this. You two. got it. Then you roll the dice. That, that is, is not two. <laughs> that is not a two. That is a 16 off of a d20. Very intelligent man. Let's go. Hey, d6. Uh, you cannot be distracted for the next 30 minutes of in game time. I go and try to help <laughs> Rabbit, but I am very much in the back. I do not want to be around. Like, I'm kind of in so the shadows. So after leaving that, you start heading towards uh, where Rabbit is. Okay, anyone else want to do anything else? So Silver's helping Rabbit. I'm going to describe get a log of who's where. Uh, Douglas, Douglas, Finley, Bucci, you guys want to be doing anything in this moment? I'm just saying half of the, my half of the screen versus that half of the screen. Bucci instead of Eclipse now, boys. Let's go. Nah. Wait, what? Did I say Bucci? What? You said Bucci. 
Eclipse, <laughs> Finley, Douglas. Do you guys want to be doing anything in this moment? Or just kind of like really. being in, huh? Vibing. Vibing? Okay, just kind of following the flow, being in the largest group. Just existing, yeah. Just existing as well? Uh, Finley, what do you want to do? Or do you want me to go ahead and move on? I shall exist too? Okay. Uh, Hide, Pax, Legomenon, and Gumdrop. What do you guys want to be doing? That's a, that's a good question. I don't even know where I am. <laughs> you are <currently laughs> Do I need to send you the recap, too? Yes. Here you go, bud. Uh, <laughs> just real quick, you are in Pounce Camp. The leader is River, who oh, has a that's... severe injury on her paw. And it was... Which was... I literally labeled it as irreversible. And then the dice Ooh. told me no. <laughs> It was it was Classic dice. listen, shouldn't have made something a direct rule, no nonsense could not be. Because then uh, um Silver and Tide could maybe could just do a funny. Yeah. yeah. I'll do a bit of reading and then I'll get back to you. <laughs> okay. Uh gumdrop. Do you want to be doing anything this moment? Um, can I practice copying the many attack from the rogue yeah you can you can try and practice it uh roll me a d20 on a 19 or 20 you learn the ability so you're giving it some practice you don't immediately understand how you could attack like two, three, four times in a manner of six seconds, but you're trying, and it's really, it's really doing really well. Um, so we have two scenes that want to happen. We want Tide with River, and we want Silver with Rabbit. Who wants to go first? Go ahead. I was about to say that same thing. Um, I'll go. I'll go. Okay. I'll take the initiative here. He was just here! Or it was just here or something! Wait, R rabbit. What? Wait. What, what's wrong? I, 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 uh, uh, ow! I ran into something and it's gone. It was just right here. What do you mean? I, I, you just seem to run into nothing. Yeah, but I ran into something. My brothers ran off after whatever was going that way, but I, it's right here. Right. There? And he's gonna jump at it again, make an attack. He's gonna make an attack roll. And he lands on something. The something is nothing, but he he hit. He rolled an eighteen to hit. But he can hits I do nothing. a critical? Can I do a inspection? Can I do a? You've seen this round before. Go ahead and give me accurate criticism. Yeah, accurate criticism. Uh, D twenty. Um, nothing looks out of the ordinary. Uh, nothing you can mm -hmm. immediately pick up on. You walked past it, like, real quickly. You didn't see anything. Hmm. I try walking up to it and, like, pawing at where Rabbit attacked. It's just, it's just air. As far as you can realize. Like, I turn to Rabbit, semi-confused, and I'm just like, how are you attacking something that doesn't exist? I know it exists. It was right there. I I believe you. I believe you. Maybe, maybe it's just gone. If it's really invisible, maybe it just ran away. Wait, it could have been invisible. <gasps> he closes his eyes and just runs in a direction. Wait, wait, rabbit. <laughs> and we'll come back to that in a second. Silver chases after Rabbit, who has his eyes closed. Uh, smart picky. Uh, <laughs> Malibu's wolf tried to kill anybody. No, Malibu's wolf very recently sacrificed almost a quarter of its entire power to save his ear from an yeah. attack, so there's mm -hmm. that. Wait. Yeah. Um, Hyde, you wanted to it. help River back up onto the rock since she fell. <laughs> Off of it. Yeah. Yes. I didn't in fact want to do that. 
um, she's beginning to like try and take herself, clearly unable. And you stubborn fool. I've heard it enough, but it is true. Yes. She gives a little chuckle. Yes, yes. Yes, I know it's true. You know it's true. Just let me help you. Sure. Um, and she kind of like rests her like her leg up onto your back, and like you kind of have to crouch down a little to get underneath her leg so that you can help her walk. But it's a way that she doesn't have to put any weight on it. You don't really feel any weight on your back as she's trying to avoid that. But there is like moments of like where it's heavier than others. You guys kind of like take a full pause. But you managed to help her up onto the rock. Is there anything you wanted to say during this time? You definitely help her up. It's nothing that you need to roll for. Mm. Apologizing is cringe. River, I'm sorry for being disrespectful. Mm. Truly am. But, you know, if you're going to be a stubborn fool, I'm going to call you out on being a stubborn fool. And... You are a strong-willed cat, who believes everything I say to his says. Oh, words! That that was not River. That was the DM being words. And you are a strong-willed cat who believes everything he says to be true. Reminds me of I don't believe anything I, I say is true. <laughs> and I'll take your word for it. You said to. Rest here, not move. Doctor's orders. Mm-hmm. And she kind of just like lays down. What is? What are my children doing? Oh, uh, uh, they're they are searching for the cat in the forest, as you told them to. Right. Hmm. Uh, what's up? What's up, Cypress? Mm-hmm. Fair point. Let me reiterate my wording. Uh, healer's orders, I guess. Like, I don't know if they would know if they healer. Nature's orders? Yeah, probably nature's orders. Medicine. Well, I guess too. Don't you say medicine. Medicine. Herbalist. Medicine. Herbalist. Yeah. <laughs> Herbalist. Herbalist. It's, it's, expert. it's healer. <laughs> experts orders? I'm going to go with experts or, or, or orders. Um. So yeah, heading back to uh, a cat with their eyes closed, fully dead sprinting into the woods. We were and then all... another cat who with muted senses running directly after him. Both very bad ideas. You know, he's rather lucky, so uh, he doesn't really run into that many branches. <laughs> but he is burrowing a path, heading in this direction, fully confident. Let me just do one more real quick. And then he stopped. Full force I'm like, against something you can't see yet, but you hear a scream, and then you have to dodge. Try and beat my role in the chat. Uh oh. Like in the Grey Raven chat, or? DC 14. Do not be barreled That's... down by Rabbit. As he turns on his paws and full sprints. Knocking you over. <laughs> and you guys both tumble. Uh, it's gonna be one of these DM sessions, isn't it? I, I saw it again! It was right there! Wait, really? You saw it again? Yeah, it's, it's, it's not moved! It's still there! Huh? I do another inspection on it, seeing if I can find anything related You've to not this. been this way, so you can't use actor criticism, but you can do uh, perception. Um, Perception. Did you say what do you mean? Yeah. Uh, he pats. He paws at uh your necklace. 
I saw it again. Oh, no. And you see the unmistakable help of a gray wolf. What? Wait, wait. <laughs> what do you mean there's a... You can see a wolf? It's 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 right. It and he stammers. You turn your eyes forward to that wolf, and you don't even need to roll that high to see the wolf is not moving at all. Hmm. What do you do? Can I roll twice? Four. Once to con like once for. An obedience check on the wolf and the other for a comfort check on rabbit <laughs> okay just tell me which one's which so okay first, first one will be the ob obedience, obedience check? check are you trying to command willow because to tame the wolf call, call like at least yeah somewhat related to that do you know the command well i can do the ment sense fetch I can go, Willow, can you just, like, chill him out for a couple seconds? I want to, like... You see Willow the tame. crystals, tame. like, leave the side of your head as if they just come into your view. As they've, like, taken rest in that, the green of the, uh, the patchwork that, uh, Fox did. Tide did, not Fox. But Tide did, and they kind of come forward to you, and you, for the first time, notice that Willow is half of the creature that he used to be. This once full gem wolf is now just the upper portion as the jaw has been knocked dormant. Oh, oh now the, I feel really the bad. The head nods and goes off towards the wolf in now a 20-foot range. So that roll was for the tame. Yes. And then this role is going to be for comforting Rabbit. Yeah, this because be Rabbit's post. now just petrified in tear here. I'm going to... It's opposed. Actually, no, it wouldn't be opposed. It'd be cut. It would be combined because he's not trying to... You're not trying to grapple him. You're trying to calm him down. I'm. Yeah, I'm just calm him. With a 10... Only a three difference, though. Yeah, it wasn't supposed to be opposed, so my role doesn't matter. Mm, I think I your presence is enough to give him enough confidence to stay. But he is still freaking out, stammering, not being able to get a word out, shaking. And you are worried, like, much like an actual rabbit, that he might have a heart attack. Uh, rabbit, it's okay. The, the, uh, yeah, it, it, it's a, a wolf, but I... I... I can calm him down. I I, I promise. I, I know uh, what Willow I'm doing. returns to you uh, as the head looks downward, somber. And it tries to tell you something. How well do you communicate with Willow by view alone? By, by looking yeah, at Yeah, by them? just looking at Willow. I've done it before, and they've registered we, an entire command because of it. Would you be willing to call Willow back so he could talk to you in your mind? Because he's trying to tell you something. What are the downsides of this? Not really much. There's a downside in combat, but there's not a downside in this moment because just be like. I would call. I would call seconds. Willow back to to communicate. To communicate. The crystals kind of like like rest down your cheeks. Some of them residing by the earring that you still wear, which is out of the brace, I might say. So everyone can still see that glamour. And the crystals rest on your face and you hear in your own mind, I can't do anything for the wolf, for the wolf is dead. Hmm. And so Silver kind of just is a little disturbed by this. And your disturbance is felt by rabbit. We need to go. I I can I can lead us back. Uh, rabbit, and rabbit, he cannot it's okay. lead you back. 
He is fully lost. Ra Rabbit, it's okay. The wolf, the wolf is dead, but that's kind of ghost wolf. Thing. He screams and bolts off in the wrong direction. No oh god, I follow him again. Uh, <laughs> he doesn't get very far before he runs into something you can't see, and you hear well, oh oh. And, and then heavy paw steps once again. Very shortly after, get him! He's over there! As uh, deer and spider run off once again. Right after the uh, path. With the clothes I'm out. just trying to follow Rabbit the best. Rabbit has can. fully like hit, hit Shadow, fallen over, lying on his back like a turtle. I like, I like go over and try to help Rabbit looking at Shadow, just like. Oh, you're here. Uh, you cannot I... see him. Well, I He's, have a... He literally running through this forest <laughs> with his eyes closed. Can I check his vibes? Can I see if it's shadow vibes? If this is what it he is ran definitely into? shadow vibes, and shadow is terrified. Here, let me just let me let me check vibe check roll. Damn it! All right, I can't do anything. Uh, I well... go and try to help Rabbit as help as best as I can. Do ghost wolves exist? Please. Do ghost wolves exist? That's a DM question. Tur, can you ask the DM? Yeah, sure. Let me ask the DM real quick. Hey, do ghost wolves exist? I mean, you literally have a ghost wolf with you. Oh, yeah, right. Uh, yes, Silver, you have a ghost wolf with you. A oh, wolf how made lovely. Of Is it following ghost me? crystals. Ah, see. This is interesting. Do I notice that? No, the ghost wolf willow. Yes, but, like, here's the thing. I feel like you're talking about another ghost wolf that isn't Willow. Roll me d20. Hmm. I don't like that sentence. Interesting. <laughs> Would you prefer if I said, go ahead and roll initiative? You don't Again, notice it. I don't wolf. like the way this... You don't notice a wolf? I don't notice it. Okay, so there's nothing there. Ignorance is bliss. I go over and try to help Rabbit because he is on the floor and I want to be a good friend. And um, he kind of just looks up at you. I am done running. I, I would say that you should probably take a break too. You don't look very... You, you, you still have stars spinning around your head. It's daytime, though. It's a it's a two leg phrase. Don't worry about it. Well, you have two legs. Silver just kind of does that, like, you know, when sitcom characters turn to the camera and a laugh track plays. <laughs> I heard a laugh track in my head when you said that. But then I just turn back and I go, "I'll explain later." Wait, are we on right now? Wait, take it. And uh, he kind of sniffs the ground. We're in, we're in claw territory. Is, is that bad? Uh, we we can't cross the borders during daytime. Should we be going? Give me a history check, with advantage. To know if we should be going or not. To remember something I said last session multiple times. One, and I go, no, it's completely fine. Uh, if you roll a one, you'll, you'll be like, yeah, we gotta go. I can't roll above a ten anymore. It's just impossible. It's too much. You roll with advantage, so you get a second die. Oh, I see. I forgore. I forgore. Uh, you go. remember uh, River saying, you can't cross the borders at night. Like sternly telling Rabbit for the seventh time today when you guys had arrived. So Wait. clearly six times earlier in the day, he's run over to Claw Territory, got lost, thought he had to run back, ran back, and was told for it. So I do tell Rabbit this, and then I proceed to go, it seems like she's been telling you this a lot. Where, didn't you grow up here? Uh, n no. Oh, what? I, uh, I was, uh, 
my brothers and mom found me when the when the one uh it was when the house on the other side of the trees was uh when there was the fire oh how do you remember what you were before you came here uh i just would talk with a human he would give me some food he would tell me about a lot of things i didn't understand what he was saying but i kind of just sat there the longer i sat there the more treats i got and then one day there was an accident and then i ran and then i found uh a, a, a big big uh um and he starts like kind of shaking once again and he, and then they were there and they helped me but he 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 really hurt me and um oh. you can once again remember that uh that he has a very stumped tail no i want to roll for comfort again roll, i just roll for comfort i want to roll for hug um, roll for hug you're rolling to hug yeah not again. <laughs> Roll for a hug. That one. You deal 20 damage. Uh, no! Oh, oh God. It's the same <laughs> number! It's literally the same! No, it's not. It's a... Oh, yeah, it is from the last hug attempt. The same number! Uh, yeah, it's not that difficult to hug. Because I'm more accustomed to... Can I roll Can I roll advantage? Because I've done it twice. Yeah, go ahead and roll advantage on the hug. On the hug check. If I roll another five, it's just how I hug people. If you roll the same number twice, it's a crit. <laughs> it's a critical hug. Yeah, it's a, no. Uh, if any on any check, roll the same number twice as a crit. Yeah. Um. Kind of rest your uh, paw on his back, more of a hug, and he gets like he rises to his full height, which is just. A pebble shorter than you. Right, uh, time to go do what mom said. And he heads towards Claw. Uh, I follow because I like where this is going. Uh, does anyone else want to do anything in this moment? Before we continue this scene? No. I feel like more of you guys should have followed me more. Cypress, shut up. No. Cypress, shut up. <laughs> you know how many characters I have? You want to try and find them? Uh, there is a very burrowed path that is just some, just like just about the size of your your younger cats. You could probably squeeze through. It wouldn't be hard to find them. You'd probably be like solid 10, 15 seconds behind. Because it was a dead sprint. Anyone else want to... Uh, uh, you're trying to say something and I'm interrupting? I'll go with... Uh, I'll go with... <laughs> Alrighty. Uh, so... Tagging Finley, along. Finley, Gumdrop, attacks are following Silver in a solid, like, 10, 15 seconds behind when you guys arrive at a camp. I have not made the map for this because I did not expect this for, to be needed. But you find a, like a solid hundred foot tall pill like not pillar, but like mountain of stone, which is like massive for you guys. And at the very top, you sense death. Oh. a <laughs> residual smell comes down the mountainside. And roll me perception as your allies will be short behind you. And then your allies will Why is every every time I try to be wholesome and then death appears? <laughs> because death happens. Welcome. Uh I forgot to open the thing Welcome to see the, the perception check. Um, 
you've not been here before, it's really hard to clock anything out of the ordinary since you don't know what's ordinary. But you see very clearly where the cats would go up this uh, mountain. Hmm. You find the very clear path. And you realize how far you've traveled from from uh, Pounce Camp. Welcome to Drown Camp, by the way. You mean Claw? What did I say? You, you said, said drown. drown. Damn it! We're not, we're not, we're not near Welcome camp. to Claw Camp! Um, Wait, is this the one? Hold on, my brain is stupid because I'm like Silver, I project. This is the one where Shadow's Gay Lover is, right? Yes, uh, mm-hmm. this is where Daisy and Mud are. Yes. I could have told you uh, that one. Gumdrop Finley Yay. packs the Gomenon. You guys also arrive very shortly after. But in this moment, Douglas and Tide, what are you doing? I am going back to Drown Camp. You're going back to Drown. Fuck, he better not. I have a feeling I know what uh, he's going to do. <laughs> Douglas, what are you doing? I want to see the foxes, man. You want to see the foxes? We we have two foxes, right? They've we have. fully dipped. They've left. Aww. They've like, they peaced out, man. Just follow Tide then, I don't know. Follow Tide? Let's go. Um, Pinecone? Spoiler alert, this isn't gonna end well for Douglas. Spoiler alert, Douglas fucking dies. <laughs> I don't so, want to uh, spoil anything, Pinecone... but Douglas dies. <laughs> Pinecone uh, is right behind you, Tide and Douglas. Um, We're gonna resolve... Mm. Uh, Jazz and Finley, give me a pose. No, not Finley. Jazz and Gumdrop, give me a pose <laughs> rolls in general chat to see which scene happens first. Uh uh-uh. Actually, no, there's a full walking scene for Tide, Pinecone, and Douglas, so we're going to do that first, then go back to Claw, then do Drown. So as you guys are heading off, um, Shining Stone has been left un- with Pine or Pumpkin Scarred at counts because shiny stone is too weak to travel um and pinecone is right behind you guys as you guys travel off passing the dead body of the old leader of bite and you guys are wise enough to avoid the snake pit you guys head back anything you guys are looking for on the way go ahead and make me a perception check each of you Pinecone will okay, sure. as well. I have no clue what I'm supposed to be looking for, but sure, why not? Yeah, just to see we could pinecone crit. <laughs> Does two damage to the surrounding sky. Pinecone rolled a nat twenty. <laughs> why this even try anymore? Pinecone rolled a nat twenty. Okay. Why is it a roll? What do you mean? You said you, you said got a crit. crit. Wait, wouldn't on what? What? <laughs> you said Pinecone rolled a crit and then proceeded to go. He rolled the nat twenty. So yeah, I'm nat like, twenty is a crit. Nat... Bro. Oh, he only okay. rolled once. Um, Pinecone eludes the conversation for a second as you guys are like talking on your way back. Wait, uh. Did you happen to notice the other half of Jaw? As he looks back tree. towards the house. Tree, yes. <laughs> I am remembering. I remember my own story. As he looks Pine towards the, the house. 20 gets the name wrong. He's a child! Leave him alone! Nat 20. He's a child, I bully. Fair enough. <laughs> He's a child, I bully. Tide, the the leader of the group. Uh, I'm not the yeah. leader. <laughs> um, Pinecone looks towards where you guys originally came from, and you do spot the body, the rest of it, from the initial attack. You can assume it was thrown after attempted to be devoured, as it has bite marks all over the upper body and i guess you could say bite 
I love you. How dare you? You roll disadvantage in your next roll no matter what. It is. No, no, Kerr, I thought you liked puns. I love puns. I'm taking that That's back. That's why you're getting an advantage. I said disadvantage when I made the threat. Oh, you said disadvantage. I heard advantage. Um, so, heading back to Claw Camp. Um, Finley, Gumdrop, Hapax, Clips. What are you guys doing as you are there? You guys all arrive, crossing the borders, realizing you now are in another camp. You have traveled for maybe 20, 30 minutes following the scent of silver. Did Making Gucci this the follow furthest... them? Huh? I thought Gucci did. did. I don't know what Gucci did. Yes, yes I did. <laughs> okay. Um, Just never mentioned. So yeah. What are you guys doing can as you ride I can there? totally... I can totally imagine Eclipse just AFKing in the meeting, just completely <laughs> just standing there doing nothing. Yeah. Came that, blankly into nothing. That's awesome. Just what are you me. doing? <laughs> just... Oh, what camp are you from? That accent's really unique. <laughs> he just says Italy. <laughs> what camp are you from? Oh, you must be a house cat. Oh, my God. Anyway. Yeah, what are you guys doing as you guys get there? Seeing this mountain of a of a camp. Which is literally a mountain to you guys, as each of you the tallest at your shoulder. Probably how big is a cat? The tallest among you. <laughs> the most fit. Among us? Me. Among you! Among us? Among us? Among us all. No, Douglas is like, be killed for that. <laughs> Douglas isn't there. So Any nat him. twenty becomes a nat one now from that single that singular um, joke. Yeah, each of you give me a perception check, including silver. No, silver already made made his initial one. Understood. You don't Just think there's anything else to perceive, unless you can tell me something else you would be doing in this moment. You need to roll in the general. I would check probably make it. I would probably do accurate criticism on the mountain on the tippy you top. You can't of do it because you haven't seen can... it before. Ah, I see. Uh, Hapax notices nothing. He rolled a two. <laughs> yeah. You you notice it's there's rocks. So much... You notice there's a mountain. Our tactician. <laughs> oh, cool. Tactician rocks. rolls a two. Uh. Yeah, uh, Finley Eclipse. Go ahead and give me your rolls. Rabbit made his roll, and he will not be rolling again for perception. Because he thinks he's seen... uh, He rolled a 10 and saw what he's already seen before, the borders. Everything else Wait, so we rolled the same roll. Oh, shit. Oh, shit, Finley. Let's go. Let's go. (laughs) 17, which is an 18 because of Lucky. First and... good number he's rolled in yeah. a very long time. <laughs> yeah, after I give him the lucky buff, this is when he starts getting like 17s, 18s, and 19s. He uh, gets a nat 20. Bucci, do you want to make a perception? Work. Eclipse, do you want to make a perception check for Eclipse? Yes, I would love to. Go ahead and roll me a d20. Or I can just give you a very like base value. Uh, oh shit, it's easy. higher than 9. Wait, you rolled higher than a 9? Okay, uh, the Lots not people. bud of this group. So, uh, Gumdrop, Finley, and Eclipse, you all <laughs> notice the scent of death is familiar from your walk here. Of it, it being a fresh death of a cat. And uh, Cypress, since you rolled the highest, I will DM you something private. Well, can't really there have you go. Watch, guys. <laughs> I didn't mean DM, I meant put it in your uh, character chat. It's there. But yeah, you guys standing at the base of this mountain, smelling death, it is defined. Yeah, definitely, Finley, go ahead. Go ahead. Tell the group. 
Nothing says, guys, I see something. As he's like stammering for words. Uh, there's a bloody paw prints over there. And this Pictor is when... didn't happen. Huh? Pictor didn't happen. You guys can look over to your right and see those paw prints as well. Finley just is like, I'm not going to look over here. I'm going to look over here. Oh, shit. Well, bloody, bloody, bleh, bloody paw prints. I think someone might have stubbed their toe. This is a lot of blood, though. <laughs> um, so yeah. God, wants damn, to stub my up, toe starts bleeding. Let's go up the fountain first. Silver's too busy being in the rapid support squad. <laughs> yeah, I, I, yeah, I'm, uh, uh, have you ever have a dream when you when when you? <laughs> you ever have a dream when you 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 when 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 you 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 when? You could dream so many many things. <laughs> and then Silver's just like, oh yeah, I have. Uh, no one's deciding to go up the mountain. I'm gonna have you all go up the mountain. Actually, no, I can't make anyone do anything. Yeah. Silver by proxy has to follow him. Rabbit is still scared scared stiff for crossing the border. Oh, I see. Can I roll a hug check again? No. Yeah, you can. Go ahead, it's do a whatever five. you want. If it's a five. If it's a five. Uh, that would be so funny. Finley starts heading up the mountain very slowly. Not being threatened with death in any way. You are not Finley. Oh, that's a damn good hug. Let me see. That is a damn good hug. Okay, I am fine. I am here. It is not fire. I am going. And Rabbit bolts up like the mountain him. and then stops right behind Finley because there's only like, root like wide enough for one cat at a time. Rip. So yeah. Finley <laughs> Rabbit will lead Rabbit Silver. I'm assuming uh, Gumdrop packs Eclipse. What are you guys doing? I assume just follow by proxy? Yeah. No, they cannot. Your bones are not creaky. <laughs> you're just older. Like, you're not, like, in any way unfit. You're still, like, a rather strong cat. At least ancient. He's um, 32, even. When you get up to the top of the mountain, at least since you have like a solid five second advantage, you're the first one to see um, the mouth open, the open mouth of the cave, and what looks to be a slaughter scene. Being enrolled on murder, dis body discovery cutscene. You want me to do the uh one voice? We could. Two bodies have been discovered. Oh my god, double murder. It's case three. <laughs> and you find a you find a pair of dead cats. The once named Mud and Daisy. No. You ruined the gay episode. How dare you? What do you mean I ruined <laughs> it? I didn't kill him. I'm just the DM. I tell you what happened. <laughs> yeah, so right outside of the mountain I'm cave, you find clearly what looks to be a fight happened here. Give me an insight check anyone who would look at the blood closer Silver rabbit is going to make it. one as well <laughs> uh, that's eclipse not... finds what? blood there's no. certainly blood that uh, one rabbit let's go, let's go! Oh, that funny. rabbit uh rabbit steals his courage well, um, hmm. If 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 you look at the um, the way they're the the, the paws are the um, whew, 
Okay. If you look at the way Paws fell and the way they're lying, they clearly could not see who attacked them. They were jumped. They got murdered. So Wait, I can hear Ty. Murder? I can hear Ty all the way from here. Mm. <laughs> I heard him too. Weird. Mm. We're lampshading, anyway. Um, could it be any? Could it be? Uh, no, no, it's it's nothing. I can't see anything. Uh, rabbit gives a couple sniffs. Who's there? Someone's in the cave. As oh, can see, I accurately criticism this one? Now that I'm kind of accustomed to the cave. You have not seen into the cave, but I will allow a perception. Okay, cool. Enjoy your perception check. Hope it goes well. <laughs> That's a critical! <laughs> Do not launch in a row, baby! <laughs> uh, you're fully distracted by the pool of blood, staring into it. You're like... you. Your eyes look up, and you lock eyes with three kittens. Shaking. The kits terrified. from the hunting. They lock uh, eyes with you. Clearly not the cat they expected to see. And we will cut back to Drown Camp. Oh, God. <laughs> They're orphans. Hey, God, I'm glad there's been no murders recently, eh? <laughs> oh, my yeah. God. Thank well, God we don't have to hide here. Otherwise, she would just straight on murder the children. <laughs> <laughs> Can I roll for an attack? Roll for an attack of what? No, Ty would roll for an attack of when as soon as he spies three kits. Yeah. When have I ever rolled an attack against children? True. Can I when have I ever rolled children? an attack against children? And the uh, only one that said to their death was Hapax. And so that's saying that drowned you know, where I said what? that child just died. Douglas Weird. and Tide. What are you guys doing in this moment? Of uh, returning Walking. to camp. <laughs> No, you guys have you guys have made it back to you guys have been in drown for a solid five to ten minutes. Dubs. The rest of the group has not yet you know, returned. It's really eerie to be alone now, I will say. Well, really I'm eerie. I'm sure the rest of them will come back short soon enough. If not, uh River said that she would have her sons go collect them. Which mm. does sound threatening in a way, but she normally threatens to make things sound calmer. Like, when she threatens you, it's a good thing. Because she always threatened my brother. Interesting. Very interesting. Yeah. Um, I'm going to go hunting. I'll be back. Have fun. Don't oh, get murdered. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to make a hunt check for Pinecone real quick. It's going to be a D D8 for hunt, and then a safety check. This is the only hunting nearby. It's maybe like a DC 4. So he jazz. brings critical food. He brings as much as he can. To the back. Let's see if he survives. He's perfectly fine. <laughs> so, Jazz. Um, I, I think I'd agree with you. I don't think it's so safe to be on our own again. Yeah, what are you talking about? There's nothing going on here. No murder. Nothing at all. We don't know anything. The when all of a sudden the Loch Ness appears out of the... I'm, jo I'm joking. It's no. real! <laughs> the Loch Ness is real! We can take him. We've got this. We can take him. We got him, <laughs> We got him, Douglas. Uh, all right. Let's it is, the it's around let's uh, go. 2 in the afternoon in uh, house dweller terms. It is just past sunup. You guys had like a shorter meeting, which resolved very quickly after the fall of River. Not necessarily fall as in like the metaphorical regal term, She's but dead. fall as in she fell. She's dead. She dead. No. Um, She's dead. Yeah. As you guys are kind of like waiting mm. here. Let's see. Mm. Um, you guys have a point of training since you guys are waiting here doing like little to not not much. I'm not I'm not trying to be rude about it, but since you guys are just sitting training, you guys get a point of training each. What do you guys want to do? 
Um, I already know. I already know where that train is going to. If you guys don't want to do anything, I'll head back to clock. I will go off on my own for, for just a little walk. Uh, are you walking anywhere specific or just in the woods or throughout ground? Walking to find any more clues that I might have missed during when the rogue attack. From the rogue's attack? Yeah, go ahead and roll me a d20. Oh, that's fun. That's very fun. Um, <laughs> you look back and you look back into where the injuries lied from um, when Silver was almost dead. Was, uh... And you find that the once red blood stain has turned green. As as green as yeah. moss. Hmm. And you find it's, it's not lying like normal in, blood. Lying in that blood or crystals of um. very small, but you are able to find them quite easily. Um hmm. I don't like being over here anymore. <laughs> Hmm, that's not ominous. That's not ominous at all. Um, what would happen, per se, if I picked up those crystals? You want to pick them up? I'm just asking a theoretical question. I will not up. tell you the theoretical answer. Hmm. <laughs> Hmm. I'm interested. I am too, and that's what's going to get me killed more than likely. Pick up the crystals. They are stuck to the blood. As you pick up the crystals, the blood follow. Oh? I'm sorry, what? <laughs> As you begin to try and pull up the crystals, you are trying to pull up the weight of the blood from the ground that it's seeped into. As you are able to fully get maybe one of the handful of crystals off of the ground, it turns a crimson red. Uh, that's not scary. That's not What's scary not scary? Pinecone says as he returns. Um, actually, no, I need to make sure I get this mouthing right. One second, let me get. <laughs> What's not scary? Mm. He returns with a nothing like a uh, a dead rabbit half of his size. I got three more of these, and he just like drops one off into the fresh kill pile and heads back for the others. I will drop the crystals, leave them there, and go help find in the blood. There's two other rabbits. Hmm. You dro dropping the crystal back in the blood? Yep. Uh, the uh, crystal goes back to its pale white. I didn't like that. I didn't like that. I did not like that. As you walk Went off from the red to white. No, thank you. As the green blood on the ground spreads back to its original size. And you go back to help Pinecone pick up the rabbits he left. This is, will be plenty for all of you to eat. What color is it? What do you mean, what color is it? Green. It's, red it's white. green. The blood is, it's the blood Italy. is green. The crystals are white. <laughs> the color was like the main point of that paragraph. How did you not get the color? Green blood, white crystals, and the crystal left the blood. It was a crimson red. What was confusing? Blue flower, red thorns. Blue flower, flower red, red thorns. thorns. If only like it only wasn't colorblind. Yeah, it wasn't colorblind. Blue flower, red it's a cauliflower. I hate that I relate everything to Shrek now. It's just my <laughs> thing. <laughs> I love how it's silver that gets asked if they're digging through vomit and it wasn't even silver scene that's hilarious you head back to claw with the uh 
I, I'm assuming everyone's at the top here with the uh, yeah. two dead cats. And Hapax, one of these cats look very, very familiar to you. Does Hapax know that I don't? Oh. No, I'm gonna... You recognize who the one. Cypher's left the stage. I, I noticed. I raised his hand. Damn it, Cypher's really mean to me. Um, <laughs> you notice a cat that shares your pelt. One that smells familiar from days and years past. Oh, <laughs> your mom. <laughs> Why would you say that? Hmm? Roll me a history check. Continue. Oh. He's just like silent in awe. I feel like confused. I feel like Silver would notice that Hypax is going through a mental <laughs> breakdown and like help him. Uh, you know, Hypax, the you know exactly who this is. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go. Um. You remember your backstory? What I told you originally happened. Um, maybe. Damn, your mama did. <laughs> <laughs> That's what your mama did. You were bought from a place you don't exactly know, but you know your birth mother wasn't very yeah, happy. Yeah, yeah. I'm it isn't your birth mother, but she was there. It's my my nanny. <laughs> <laughs> um. If you do want to know, it is one of your mother's litter. And oh. she escaped. So sibling? Are you right? No, sibling? his mother's litter. It was aunt. Oh, aunt. I see. Aunt. What are you saying? I love that word. Wait, <laughs> chat a D200. I almost missed the fact it was 200. Okay, um... <laughs> yeah. A Pax, you clock your dead aunt. Cool. Good for you. Hope you enjoy. Um, back with the rest of the crew. Cool. You see um three cats. Two Mollies and a Tom that are younger than Gumdrop. Staring out of this cave. Trying to gather words, but just short breaths come out. They look up at you guys, and they start crying. And who looks, who in the group would look the most protective? I'm going to say they run over to Finley, just because of sheer age. Um, and they kind of get underneath your leg, taking shelter and looking away from the, uh, looking away from what they had to stare out of the cave and witness fully bawling. Wow. But also looking around for something. Give me an insight. All of you that are looking at the cats. Uh, Pax, you're currently wow, distracted friendly. by your dead aunt. I had no idea that those kids could just sense how old you were. Um, Harvey? Yeah. I'm going to say Gumdrop and Silver, because of your roles. You both fully can see what the mouth isn't telling but what the eyes are these cats are terrified of a cat they've seen and none of you look like the cat hmm. and one of them steals enough courage to talk with you all i'm just having to try and prepare to do a very hit like voice for this child, and I'm not ready. Okay, here we go. Hi. 
There we go. Okay. That was just that was voice practice. That was not the cat. Wait, can gumdrop like you talk? Can it be just like a two year old talking to a five year old? Sure. <laughs> could be just like a conversation. It could be a child conversation. <laughs> if if gumdrop wishes it. Silver is in the background, just kind of like this is the rabbit support session. This is the rabbit support eyes. session. Listen, I tried to get a minor role, just trying to follow rabbit wherever he led. But apparently, that was the main plot. Whoops. What is this? What is this cat doing? Like what? Are, like what are these three cats doing? Why are they crying? <laughs> rabbit fully forgets what's behind cat. him as he looks at. He looks at the three. Cats. Um. Um. Well, huh? cats cry when they're sad and Why are they, they, sad? they 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 rabbit please what what do you mean what he's like looking around and then spots the blood oh there's blood there's oh they're dead oh they're dead rabbit you just rolled a nat 20 on this <laughs> he perceived it he, he forget Wait, no. Wait, let me remember this. No. Oh, they're dead again. He would say, they're, oh, they're dead again. No, they're dead again. No, they're dead again. No, they're dead again. Oh, they're dead again. Uh, uh, oh, um, um. He just kind of, like, lays down in the way of, like, the sight for the cat. The three kittens so they can't see. I, like, dead I, I lay on top of him, being like a wall of fur. <laughs> A wall of white and gray blocking the view of this murder scene. I love it. We're here to protect you. We're here to protect you from tra trauma stacks on top of each other like a Triforce <laughs> Heroes character. Uh, <laughs> roll for deception? And Rabbit's gonna give you the help action, so roll with advantage. <laughs> I'm glad I'm playing D&D &D oh. with my good friends. Yeah. It's a crit. That it's is so cool. a crit. They cannot see. They cannot see. Oh, say can you see? No, we cannot. So, um... Fox is just insulting me in DMs, and I'm not appreciative. Like, I'm rude. I don't like it. We don't need to talk about behind the scenes stuff. Uh, because people are being mean DMs. How dare you, Tide? Actually, no, not Tide. How dare you, Fox Sleep? Tide would never do anything wrong. I'm not. Uh, how is this being Unless mean? Unless Pinecone's involved. How Unless... is this being mean? So... Oh. <laughs> a child. It's not even mean. Um. The youngest of... The, not the youngest. The oldest of the three cats. We'll speak up now. Uh, hi. Um, I, I am, um, I'm Bramble. And these are my sisters, Rose and Thorn. What do you mean, oh no and not again? What the fuck? What did I miss? Bramble Claw. I am changing this cat's name. <laughs> there we go. I got it. Um, I'm Thorn. This is my sister's Rose and Petal. That better? <laughs> Let me real quick change the names in my... Why? Why can't you let me have names? Why is it so mean to me? I didn't do anything. I just was giving you what they were talking about. I changed the name. Enjoy. Um, so yeah, Thorn has spoken up. He has a darker pelt. Of that of a rather I'm just trying to figure out like words I'm looking for. Like a think of a Siamese, but like more baked. 
Like take a Pax and put cool. him in put him in the like the subway fryer for a few more seconds. He was cool. Gotta get that golden He's brown. Gotta get that golden brown. And Pax, how do you think he got that He's color? Bracken. He's just changed his name to Bracken. He's golden. He's golden brown. I will not desecrate the name that way. Desecrate? What are you implying? Nothing. Don't worry about now, bro. Don't worry about it. <laughs> Um, and in a way of evil. a child very poorly describing, I will give you guys the details you need to know, because I did not script this. Because once again, I did what? not think you guys would come here. And you find... I can't believe I ruined the plot again. You didn't ruin the plot, I just hadn't fully fleshed this out. Accelerated the plot. Well, and... did or did not matter to ruin the plot again. Yeah, he did. he did not. He's not ruining. He did. Um, Sometimes I feel like I'm here just to get bullied for an, the three and, like cats three hours. In a Which way, explain to time. you that they heard a voice in the middle of the night, yelling at them, not at them, but at them, uh, uh, Mud and Daisy, and. Mud and Daisy left to go figure out who it was, and there was two heavy sounding thuds. And as the cats left the lower areas of the cave, they found uh, their parents dead, dead, and a voice from somewhere <laughs> saying, if I sent you outside of this camp, I will come back here and kill you. <laughs> That's just my like general evil voice. I couldn't think of like what a voice to give it without like trying to sound like a character. L. I will give you an L. One second, let me change your name to have another L in it. Me? Okay. Sir, just just make his voice slithery, like a like a like a. Like a snake. Yeah, like if I sent you outside of this camp, I will come back in the morning and slay you. How's that? That better? That's genuinely better. I feel like that gets oh. my mental image of this cat way better. He's no Enjoy. longer a brown tabby. He's a black cat. He's a black cat now. Oh, he's that's a... what every warrior cat's villain is. Oh, sorry. So it's just shadow. If I see you, if I, if Shadow would be like, if I sent you outside of this camp, I, uh, uh, I, I will kill you. I think. I uh, think <laughs> Shadow would instead. Of, if I see you, oh, your voice cracked. <laughs> that was just my uh, voice crack, not his. Oh, so yeah, you guys found out that these three cats. Um. What is the deal with me and Righty Orphan? Jesus Christ. I'm telling you, man. Right. Orphans. He, he's I'm projecting. telling you. I am telling you, man. It is orphan fault. And um, I'm just saying. Without saying a word, Petal runs back into the cave and presents a gift to Finley. Aww. Finley. You are given a very small stone. The stone is a deep blue color. Is it shining? No. Damn it. I couldn't make a joke. It is splendid. It is carved. And you flip it over, and you see it has two intricately carved uh holes and you see there's a small line uh where it has been carved through roll me a perception and anyone else finley would let see finley how many people would you let see the only person Finley would probably let see is Dumb Threat. He would not let that. Uh, that is enough dead. for me to tell you what it is. Do you want anyone else to know what it is? Only Gumdrop? 
Of course. How did I, how did I know, guys? It's like I wasn't wrong. <laughs> did we ever say that you were? Yes. Um, Gumdrop, give me a perception check on what Inley has showed you. We're about to get another magical necklace. Let's go, boys. Let's ruin the plot again. Really? There's only one lower. Probably not. So. As um, Petal presents you with this gift, I'm going to ask you a question. What is Cypress thinking? What is Finley thinking? You mean, I don't want to know. I want to know. What is Finley currently sure, thinking? Do you want to know? What is on Finley's mind? How to get that whipper snapper Douglas. Um as this cat who is a very dark colored uh, Molly with a very light mask and a very darker nose. And as it gets lower on her body, the Siamese part of her really starts to show through. But everywhere else is this deep and, like, set brown. This rock is on your mind? Just, ooh, a rock. Pretty much. Okay. Let me know if that changes as we head back to Drown Camp. Um... Round camp. What are we doing? That is an excellent question. Yeah, it is an excellent question. Um, I'll let you know what Pinecone's doing first. He is not in your spot, but he's looking out to the waves. Like, kind of batting at the waves as they get close. My right spot superior. Are you saying that my as Ty or as yourself? As myself. <laughs> he's like a my solid, like, superior. He's, a, he's like two paw steps away. Mm. I was thinking about what to do with three random kits. Fair enough. You pump them to as the moon. Anywho. <laughs> as we head back to club, no. Um, yeah, what is Ty and Douglas doing? I'm going to my spot because, yeah. How did you learn to swim? I assume that's pine cone asking. Yeah. Um, that I learned to swim from my mother. Why do you ask? My mother was supposed to teach me. Um, yeah. It should have You don't been... have to relive it. I still would like to learn. Okay. He kind of just like watches the waves for a little bit longer. And instead of batting this wave, he lets it crash onto his paws. Douglas, what are you doing? Uh... <laughs> <laughs> Nothing. Nothing? I love the... Are you I resting, guarding, eating, <laughs> enjoying a nice sure. rabbit? <laughs> yeah, I've already eaten all the rabbits, so... You would not be I able to get the to rabbits. Turn down, I forgot to turn down jazz, so basically <laughs> what I heard was a deep emotional moment, and then 
Douglas, what will you do? And then a loud <laughs> cry come out of my headphones. And I just... Oh, no. <laughs> what will you do, Douglas? <laughs> you're you're saying you could be able to eat uh eight not eight four times the size of pine cone yeah i highly doubt it unless you want roll to be... for... <laughs> roll for it to roll no <laughs> please I, i'm gonna say like a rabbit unless is you want to be dola pine cone i will remove the t from your name that is quite the threat. Oh wait, I, I almost forgot to employ my uh the competition's rules, Douglas the Unfunny. Damn it. <laughs> I remembered it half an hour into the session. It's been more than half an hour. hour. I said an hour. Uh, <laughs> so Um Douglas, you? come learn to swim. We can fight Loch Ness Monster. We can fight Nessie. Hell come yeah. on. <laughs> we can fight okay. Nessie together. It's the beach episode. Um, it's the beach <laughs> episode of us three. You have been, like, in water deeper than, like, your shoulders. Deeper than us. Because of your brother. And swimming reminds you of a moment you had with Katie. And... The twins, when they used to play with the uh, large pool, that was until um, the one of their friends brought over their paintball gun for the first time, and it broke through the side. And you remember getting caught in that, and Petey swimming down. And like trying to help you out of where that hole was, kind of like pulled you in. And it reminds you of that memory. So go ahead and give me a swim check, Douglas and Pinecone. Okay, I'll roll for swim. <laughs> Pinecone rolls a nat one and then drowns. The, the DC was five to not like fail because swimming is a very natural thing. And <laughs> Douglas and Pinecone take to it like a drowned cat to water. I was waiting to use that joke for a while. As you guys get more comfortable swimming, um, guys, Pinecone is still learning how to like swim, like keep his balance, so he's not like fully tottering, anything like that. So you guys are learning. What is that gif? No! <laughs> is that like a Minecraft gif? <laughs> no, it's so sad. Um. So yeah, back at claw camp. Are you guys wrapping up? Getting ready to leave? What are we doing? Punk the children! No! I mean, I'm not going to stop you. But it is a something you're going to have to roll to see if you can. Um, you look down at Petal and ask if what the rock is. And Petal stares at Thorn. And Thorn replies. Um... It's a, uh, she found it, um, a month ago. Correction. A moon ago. Um, it was... The silver is hearing this and, like, shaking his head slowly, like, this can't be happening, it, it not again. It was over there. And he kind of, like, points towards half of the forest. Um, also, she doesn't answer questions. She doesn't really talk much. 
and Petal is like violently nodding. Um, she hasn't. Like, I don't. Roll me insight. Anyone who would be able to hear Why do it, I pass. imagine? Why do I imagine Rose is doing like a little boogie in the corner? <laughs> That's not what she's doing. Rose has taken this the worst. Um, Petal hates you. Petal won't talk to you. That's the whole reason. Who? Petal just hates you, Finley. That is the entire reason. That's what you get for your inside check. Bruh. Do you want insight? Petal hates you. That's why. <laughs> oh. Oh. Malibu. Yeah. Good roll. Silver Thank you. with uh lying on top of Rabbit, who has finally calmed down and his heart rate is lowered under a hundred. It's just a big hug. Lying on top you of him is a notice... hug. Notice something that you've seen once before and you are able to fully accurately criticize whatever you want to say this cat's jaw is not formed they cannot open their mouth to speak willow moment god damn it Hey, um, I I don't think Petal can speak, guys. Uh, Petal and Thorn look at you. Rose is still fully doing her own thing. Doing a little boogie in the corner. <laughs> Guess it's now canon. Rose is doing a boogie in the corner. Um, hey, hey, Petal, can you come over here a little bit? Uh, throw me a persuasion. Come to the children to the fur pile. <laughs> it's very comfortable. <laughs> Come to the fur pile. It's very comfortable. That's not that's not enough to convince her. Right. She well, latches... I am able to view it. Pardon? Hmm? I didn't hear you the first time, my bad. Uh, it's not enough to convince her. She fully latches onto Finley's leg. As if trying to use I, her I can... leg to block you out. I can kind of see her jaw or it, I don't really know if it's what a jaw is supposed to look like. Finley, can you take another look? I can help kind of try to see at least. So either both of you make another check. This will be the last one you can check or Finley roll advantage. Well, I, I know exactly what is wrong. I'm just silver can't really find the right words or confidence to say it. Fair enough. Um, Finley, you notice after what uh silver's description is, but yeah, this cat's jaw, or like, not necessarily their jaw, but the way they hold their jaw, is not one of a cat who would speak, but one of a cat who uses their mouth solely to chew. As if they have not. I still speak can't. Or spoken. Yeah, I still can't find the right words to kind of put what I'm trying to say into a phrase. Um, as you apologize, young petal. Um. She fully weeps. Um. Like. Like arms. Like, wrapped onto your paw, head on your leg, full crying. Um. Come drop, get your ass over here and hug this thing. And Thorn is going to look over to Silver in this moment. How, how did you know she hasn't spoken? Um, I, I, well, sometimes I'm able to really kind of look in 
really see what's what wrong is a weird word, but I. I can kind of see things a bit better than other cats sometimes, I guess. That's the best way to put it. Why do your ears look stiff? Oh, um... He, like, I, reaches up to, like, bat at your ear. And instead, he's, it, like, fully it, it, distracted it, by your earring. Like, like batting at it oh, lightly. Oh, oh. That's... Well, my ears are a little... A little injured, but other than that, that you're, you're touching he has not what stopped. my earring he's is. He's fully distracted. Um, it's it's really shiny. I like it a lot too, but uh, that, that does hurt a little bit. Thorn, please mm-hmm. please stop. <laughs> As you pull your head away from Thorn, he's like, huh? As you've pulled a toy away from a child, in the way of like, they give you that shock face. And I'm going to say, what do you guys want to do with the information of, hey, look, there's two dead cats, three kittens left here, and the kittens were threatened with death. So does the does the stone represent, in, like, share the same kind of shape as an animal? This is Malibu who's wondering this. Malibu asking, it does, like, this is above table, it looks like. Um, something. I have not said what it is. Silver does, does like not an know it exists. It looks like an animal. I know. Oh, no, not again. What do you mean, oh, no, not again? We the dead cat these kids' parents? Yes, that is correct, Cypress. Um, Mud and Daisy are the parents of Thorn, Petal, and Rose. Well... Silver kind of like looks to the group where well we we gotta tell somebody about this. It seems like nobody's known. Should we send out a pair to one of the camps? I, I think Thorn. I think Claw Camp needs to hear about this first. First and foremost, I think that's the only way. Um, at least <laughs> did you just say Claw Camp? <laughs> Claw Camp is the entirety of top that. Of that is Claw Camp. <laughs> That is the, the entirety of Claw Camp. Then why I, did you say Claw Camp? Only, two, only oh two people in Claw Camp? Five! With the, five, including the kids. Only five um, people in Claw Camp. I thought this wasn't drowned level camps of small numbers. What do oh you my mean? God. Oh my god. Yeah, I thought Forget there him. was a bit more people in Server mute him. My bad. Server mute him. Server mute him. I, I told you the him. largest camp was seven. <laughs> And Which was the old drown camp. Separated. Man. The old drown camp was the largest. And now the new old, drown camp is the largest. Dead. I say old because majority of them are dead. The new one's larger. But a- anyway, Silver takes off his earring and like looks to Thorn and goes, "Can you guys follow us? I'll, I'll let you play with this if you guys follow." Thorn has. Full attention and will sprint after you in a chase. How does the cat remove the earring? How does the cat remove the earring? Silver has learned. He's been in a dark room for three years or two and a half years. He kind of gets bored. He has a method. I'll think about it after I, this episode. I appreciate it in a way of like telling me that this will not stay on. In a way of like, if it were to fall off, it will fall off. It will. It is. It does not have a back. Fall off. I don't, I is, don't know a how a cat would take it off. I'll figure it out later. Okay, if you can figure it out later, I will not give you the disadvantage for that. Um. Roll a dexterity check. Fully grab onto your back. Um, you haven't noticed because Rose is like the lightest and smallest of the three. But she has climbed up onto like the scruff of your neck and has found rest there. Little child, I offer you comfort in this time of need. And the five of you, not five, now nine of you, because there's five players, one NPC. Yeah, so there's the three kits, rabbit, and the five PCs. 
So, you guys head back, I'm assuming, towards Counts? I, I assume, yeah, that's my assumption. Alrighty, as you guys head that way. Um, oh, are we in agreement to do that? Are we? You are now. I did not hear any um, like There's no objection, jeers objection. against it. So if someone wants to tell me otherwise, you guys don't want to do this? Douglas isn't there. Douglas doesn't get a say. The ones who aren't there support it. Just so I can punt them. Dead hmm? <laughs> He's traumatized. Unconsolable trauma. Dead aunt moment. It's consolable. Oh, oh, it is. Let me roll for console. <laughs> <laughs> roll for console check. And that one, it is permanent. Like, that is his character Hold flaw. On. Character flaw. Anytime he goes near claw camp, he instantly just breaks. <laughs> roll for PDSD. Roll that's for so PDSD. sad. No. Well, that's a pretty good comfort roll. <laughs> um, as you are looking Get at better. Uh, your aunt, you remember that she wasn't always called Daisy. She was referred to by a name I will not say in this call, but I will DM you at your discretion to use to use this. I'm trying to remember what word I'm looking for. <laughs> I've gotten blue shelled four times in three laps. Skill issue. There's that. I think that skill one. I got first, so it isn't, but like. It's a skill issue. Mm -hmm. That's uh, the name. Huh? That was the name she was referred to by humans. Okay. Interesting. Mind reading check. I can't remember like what the word I'm looking for is. And the one I'm thinking of is not right. But I don't feel like okay. looking it up right now because I want to <laughs> I want to like have fun with this. Yeah. Let's so, fight Nasu. Let's fight Nasu. Um as you're Does looking this at necklace your aunt... have the spirit of another adult woman? What? <laughs> does this does this stone have the spirit of another dead mother? <laughs> not staying. In the way of like, oh yes, this oh the necklaces of a spirit. Of I, a feel dead like, I feel like I feel like this story has some motifs that I did not expect. I'll be completely okay. honest. <laughs> All and I'm the, going the, the to say is, um, what you do find and what is there. This was a slaughter, and as you're looking at this. The only family you've known for the greater of the years of your life is by your side, encouraging you to leave this place and let the dead lie. And in this moment, your brother, maybe not sharing the same pelt, but you've grown up with him, experienced what of the world there is for as much as you can learn from a dark room that a kid used to play in but didn't you remember how nervous your brother got when you got home after the injury and you look down on onto your paw where that bad scar is and why um you don't do as much damage, why you are considered the weakest, even though there's a young cat. It's because you can't really use your four paws, because your four paws... I meant the ones in the front, but I also, like, you have four paws. Um, You can't no, use your four no. paws because of something that was removed from the room following the child extraction. 
there was a toy weapon that parents didn't realize wasn't a toy. You got cut on. And Tony. when that happened, you went to this weird place where the humans wore white, had masks on, had these weird things covering their paws. And you remember um, drifting into a sleep where instead of being surrounded by humans with coverings of white and weird things covering their paws, you were at home, but not with Silver, but with your mother and your litter mate. And for that moment, you, that moment is lost to you now, but it was brought back by this interaction. By Silver giving him a big hug. I will say you did a okay, good power. hug because of that 18. It was a good hug. Yeah, it was a good hug. It was a trauma curing hug. <laughs> the, the trauma. It is not cured. <laughs> Trauma not cured, but it's trauma terrible. not cured. But hug was good. I can't wait for her to roll her to be like roll for PTSD. I'm not doing that. <laughs> um but yeah. Does anyone object to the original plan of heading back to drown? I'll take that as a no. Yes, they were going trying to go to Pounce to let River know. But I'm going to go back to hey, yo, in this new scene. Dick. So, the three of you are getting comfortable. <laughs> and as you begin to try and teach Doug with something, more of like how like when you want to kick and how to like avoid like certain so Douglas, what you want to do in water when fighting Nessie is be good. And all of a sudden you hear Pine, what's this? And you see it for a moment Pinecone go underneath the water and then from the other side of you launch five feet out of the water and go ahead and make me <laughs> Roll a d20. Roll a d20. Roll a d20. Well, you know the outcome I want of this. So. <laughs> Let's roll it. I don't really care. Let's go. Oh, no. That's that. On all right. a oh, natural no. one, <laughs> Pinecone lands directly on the soft of your back. And you feel the breath leave your body before you get underneath the water. And I'm going to roll the damage in a general check. Oh no. As you immediately Fuck. take <laughs> four damage. <laughs> as you know what's funny? the breath is left I your, don't feel bad. The breath is left your chest and all you can get back is water. Um, Pinecone, you feel like right on top of you, and then trying to help you up, it's not helping. He rolled a three. Um, my man, he actually did it. The mad um, lad. <laughs> he rolled something bad. Roll me a swimming check with disadvantage. A d20. Roll me 2d20. Guys. I think the lower of the two. 2d20? 2d20 and the lower of the two is what your roll is. Imagine oh, being dude. Shining Stone, coming back from the worst trip of your life and going, yeah, Tide died, by the way. <laughs> okay. Um, A six is not enough. Oh, so, God. Uh... Here we go. Douglas, you were there. <laughs> you take no, another no, three damage? No. 
No, no, but you and wanted me that, didn't you? You feel you, said, yes, you don't you feel bad. Right. You feel, you feel bad. from underneath your body, bubbles I begin to it. form. Douglas, give me a swimming check with disadvantage because you do not know how to carry a cat while swimming. Roll again. Oh, God absolutely the fuck not. <laughs> you are not helping, and you will have disadvantage on the next swimming check. As you like, go to swim down and bonk his head as he's already drowning. Um, I don't even think Fox regrets this decision. He's just like, he's, he's just, he's he's smiling in this corner here. The second tide's life is on the line. We all roll ones. <laughs> yeah. Um, as it should be. You feel bubbles begin to form underneath your chest. As you're beginning to be raised up, but then you feel a paw heavy trying to reach for you, knock yourself down. You like flip underneath the water. And the fact that I've known about this game for like two weeks now. Great. I can I can only help this is how much health do you have left after twelve damage? Uh one. One, one. of health and then it goes on to li- then it goes to uh, life saving throws. Oh. Because I have 13 um, HP. Or 14 since you added it, so two, two left. As. Go ahead and make me another swimming check, but this time roll it flat as you're being helped. So 1d20. Uh, Douglas, you notice that Pinecone resurfaced, fully panicked, and stiff in, like, fear. Um. Oh, well, I did not help that situation. Uh, hi. <laughs> you look through this water. Eyes open in this freshwater lake. And you see a figure you have not it's seen messy. for a long, messy. long time. It's messy. Oh my god. It's messy, it's messy boys. It's, it's messy, messy, boys. boys. May I, may I continue? <laughs> you can't see their pelt, but the sheer image is a dead giveaway. And you feel, instead of trying to swim up yourself, your body is thrown out of the water. Jesus Christ. You take another two damage because you're at the zero health threshold. <laughs> As you land on the water, constitute yourself, and you look back down into the water and there is no figure to be seen. Roll me a history or investigation check. I already know who it is, to be fair. It just I kind of already I kind of already do, yeah. Do you? I think I do. I hope I do. That's not a good number. Okay. Good to know. Is this the, the history or is this a uh, history or investigation? Let's do investigation because that's, that's not good. Uh, eight investigation, you find nothing. Roll me history. <laughs> it, is the, it is the same number, so it's a crit. You know exactly who this is. W. But you are very shocked to see her. You were dead. You remember killing her. <laughs> well, was it not a same. hallucination? Was it really her? Was it? What is like a As you're trying to get your breath, it, your ears filled with water. You can't quite make it out, but Pinecone is right beside you, screaming apologies. His head, like under, like falling under the water as he's try- trying to apologize using all of his energy towards his voice that he loses his footing both literally and metaphorically as he tries to swim. I gotta say pinecone now. God damn it. <laughs> um, okay. I gotta say pinecone now. Yeah. God damn it. Here we go again. 
No health saving cats. Pinecone is going to try and fully disengage you when you try and help him. Bruh, stop being the way you are. You little literal child. And let me Best help hide the person who constantly tries to off himself to protect others. This is what it feels like. I'm sorry. There's still, this is, this is like, still water in your ears. You can't quite make up the apologies, but you know exactly what he's saying. Are we uh, on ground or on water? You are currently, uh, I'd say, a solid meter away from shore. You gotta like, use your like, link. You gotta make it correct. Hmm. Wow. <laughs> but that didn't happen. I'm just saying, it wouldn't be the first time I've nearly drowned. But then it's not the first time. <laughs> Roll with advantage, then. Saying okay. this, the first, as soon as you get out of the water, Pinecone's still, like, a full, like, foot away from you. Like, trying to keep his distance. He hears you that. Stop. And a wave of like not necessarily a wave of guilt, but a literal wave kind of brings him to shore. He's waiting. Huh? He's wave riding. <laughs> not necessarily. He's surfing. He's just very no, very sure. small cat. Is. Moved around by the wouldn't water. the tide bring him back in then? No. Wait. No. No, because the tide was ebbing. The tide is right here. The tide anyway. almost drowned. So. The tide did almost drown. It was funny. Worth, um, worth I, it. I, I drowned camp. What? Yeah. Um. So yeah, Douglas, you heard every single apology and are kind of getting annoyed by the way he's like apologizing <laughs> for the same thing 86 times in a single breath. <laughs> Almost That's died. Getting the hell up. Uh, he, he, yeah. Underneath his fur, he is like a bright red as he has no breath left in his body and still trying to apologize despite you saying accidents happen. You then, said bright red? Yeah. Like he's bleeding. No. Hmm. He's out of breath and like trying to get more where it's not been given. Like he's not taking a breath from apologizing. Perform CPR. Let, let me roll a D four of drowning damage as he's like spoken. <laughs> let me just roll that real quick for for your old pine cone. Pine cone takes two damage and like. Like, 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 holds over, like, kind of lets himself fall to the ground and takes a solid 30 seconds of just breathing. And then, like, raises his head up. It's like, wait, where are the others? They're supposed to be back by now. That's a good question. Should we, but uh, go you back need to rest. What? We are not going anywhere because you. Lost all your breath. So we're gonna sit right here and wait for the others. Or if they're not back by tonight, we will go ask the river. We can't cross the borders at night. We have to go before night. the sun goes down. After night. In the morning, if they're not back, we'll go ask the river. Oh, oh okay. Um I'm just worried. Especially with the cat that was dead on the dead in the uh, and he's staring for words, realizing he almost killed you. With an ability you didn't even know he had. And you might be able to learn. <laughs> Why are you chuckling at that? You murder cat. Silver. Silver. What's up? What's up, Cypress? What's your question? Feel free to ping me if I don't re like respond in like a minute or two. Because I'm probably looking at a different screen. 
I think the worst part about that was Ty just being fully chill about no, it. You 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 can't you can't threat Silver. What is Finley still friend? has the cool rock. He's just like trying to figure out how to carry it. And I'm gonna say um Thorn carries not Thorn. Uh Petal carries it for you. Mouth? Oh, you're gonna carry it yourself. Okay, just remember you have to you are if you're carrying something in your mouth, you have to roll like deception to try and fool someone like so you don't have it in your mouth, or just not talk. And, and tell me what's you on your mind, them. Finley, as you're carrying this rock before you let a uh, pedal, not pedal, yeah, pedal, rip, carry it. Tell me more. What's on your mind, Finley? Just a window screen. Go up a tree. Windows XP because it's old. <laughs> Just the Windows XP power on sound. Do 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 do. Rip off some Windows vibes. Windows 7 is a personal favorite. As that comes to your mind, right beside you, a vine falls to the ground. As you feel something attempt to leave, there is something beside you, and then it tries, you feel pressure against your cheek. Are you are you saying snake out loud? Um. So yeah, there's a uh, very thin vine has fallen to the ground. As you, uh, rip off some vine with your teeth, comes into your mind that appears. Sneaky snake. Snake snake. Snake. <laughs> Silver actually knows snakes. As a snake comes to your mind, though, you feel a lot of pressure on the inside of your mouth. I want to get Silver to get over here. A danger noodles there. It's as if you're inside, you're turning into a sneaky, sneaky snake. It's almost as if you are now a snake. A snake, a snake. A snake, uh, so yeah, a snake. Uh, Finley, your mouth, you have like pressure to try and open your mouth. Are you trying to try and hold it closed or let what lips in your mouth escape? Let it out. As you open your mouth, um, the rock kind of stays on like the inside of your mouth, like right between your gum and your teeth. And you see a, um, I said before you gave it. Before you gave the rock to pedal, what's on your mind? Just to make sure you didn't miss a scene, potentially. So, you see a violet um, waving creature of gems. And it's moving in a way that's kind of distracting. But yes, out of your mouth. <laughs> Silver fucking help me. Uh what? Silver. What what's going on? Finley, are you you see, you saw the vine fall to the ground, and you see a violet stone in his mouth. Like, again, not again, not again. All right, hold on. Willow! Uh, you call Willow, and the being of green crystal appears and looks at Finley. And even without a jaw, you can tell Willow's jaw dropped. I mean, it already dropped earlier the session. I, I call him back and it's just like, so do you know what that is? Uh, um, uh. 
yeah, you go you go ahead and spit the rock out. Um, you no longer see the uh, violet snake there. Another amulet, boys. Here we um, go. And silver in yep. your mind, you hear. Um. Um. That. Um. Is the words are hard for for Willow to speak because even without the mouth, it's how he was using most of his talking ability. So once again, he's going to animate into the crystals and form into the like break the crystals into a shape of a fox. And then an equal sign, and then the same shape of of a snake. Stop for a moment, do a dance as a snake, and then like go directly around the stone. And Hapax, Eclipse, and Gumdrop can see this. Finley cannot. So. Oh. Oh. oh okay. Finley, Finley. Um, so I I talked to to Willow about this. I think that's what you wanted me to do, right? Um, so uh, uh, Finley wanted you to put the vine, the the very thin vine, through the hole on the weird stone. Oh yeah, I I, I can do that. I can do that. Roll me a dexterity oh, yeah. check with advantage because of your dexterous claws. Apparently, I have killer dexterity. That, that, that's good enough to pass, I think. Advantage. Oh, well, yeah. I, I got to that. <laughs> Obviously, Nessie doesn't have a pelt. I just saw that message. I love it. Um, a... You're able to get it threaded. It's just you can't get it tied. tied. No, not you tied. <laughs> can um, another cat help me? Can another cat help? This this should be a thing that that other cats can help me. On. Um, as you say, can another cat help? You already rolled with advantage. Um, Thorn is gonna come over and. Okay. Um. So Finley, bite do you want both to ends of the vine, and then as he opens his mouth, they're tied together. Okay, so I I. I put the necklace on Finley and go, so, um, that's Willow's sibling. And as you put the necklace back on, oh, great. <laughs> Finley, you can see a creature of violet stones. One much smaller than the others describe. This is the first being of crystal that you've seen. And now wearing this necklace, you also clock Willow. A the top head, like the top portion of a head of wolf. Snake, snake, snake. <laughs> and you hear a voice in your head. <laughs> Hello. Are you? It it was me. Um. And the snake stops moving about and looks directly at you. Um. Also, gumdrop. You can hear this. I don't remember. Why? Why are you so mean to the to the NPCs? Ooh. I um I suspect Wait, sorry. I suspect that I have taken the shape of a snake. Silver can see it, silver can't hear it. 
like walk over and go, hey, hey, Finley, um, the people don't typically see that mean to. Um, the green half wolf? No. I don't know if it's a half wolf. I mean, it looks like half of a wolf head. So I'd say half wolf head thing? I don't know. I don't know what that is. What do you mean, why am I inside of a rock? Am I inside of a rock? And uh, the snake looks oh, over boy, itself. Oh boy, you're new here, aren't you? Looks over itself, it's like... <laughs> so you were the cave. You look much different than the person that put me here. I like how Gumdrop gets it and Finley doesn't. Um, like, I... <laughs> yeah, because in the mouth, Dark ordered a command of make the vine drop of a single crystal knocks it down. Um, so, give me a perception check. Who? Um, those who can see the snake. Yes, Cypress, including you. Um, Gumdrop can see the snake, and Hapax can see the snake. And Silver can see the snake. Silver rolled already. Yeah, I know. Oh, shit! Why so many crits? <laughs> Me again. Hapax, let's go! You notice one thing very different than your brother's crystal, whatever the fuck. <laughs> That's a very good way of putting it. Um, <laughs> you notice that this crystal is but one color. There is no impurities, no other crystal colors, nothing white, nothing red. You notice that this oh, is pure crystal. violet. Violets. And you also notice that it is much smaller than Willow. <laughs> okay. Hell, weakling. Nah, but you should not be talking. <laughs> Hi, drown again. <laughs> again? Okay, let me roll a drowning damage for Tide real quick. Please. Okay, cool, do it. You won't. Please, I, I will roll it. I got you. I got no. you. No! I got you. Stop got over the table you. threats. I will bite the lot of you, you and you all will take 86 damage. Oh. <laughs> for Finley reduced to 43. Ninety-eight point so, seven percent purity. Okay, as we get more information about the snake, you guys find that you are in Count's camp. And shortly behind you is Shadow. Eaten, bloodied, with one eye open. Being held the open shadow. by a spider. Um, you also notice that spider is covered in wounds, and deer is clearly hiding his pain. What do you do as the five playing characters, three kittens, and rabbit approach seeing this? River is overwhelmed with information as she realizes where the rabbit went, where the rest of the cats went. And also figure out like, why, are the, why are the claw kits here? Why is Shadow here? All of that. 
the time to figure out what we're doing first. Well, I first... So, Rabbit's here, right? Rabbit was right at your side. Multiple times tried to run off and then looked at you and then climbed underneath you. Like, making you hug him. So, I actually... Rabbit would walk to where Spider is, correct? If you wish. Yeah, my first thought is to kind of nod to Rabbit and then I go to Shadow. Okay. Um, how about the rest of y'all at the party? Uh, Pax is just like, what happened to you guys? Damn. You've been fighting some bears? Uh, as you guys get back, um, Cypress, Gumdrop, Uchi, what do you guys want to do? You guys approach back to camp. Finley, how many times are you going to, like, dissociate? I love it so much. Because then I get to remind myself what happened as well. You're fine. I have a feeling that Cypress, whenever, don't worry whenever, about it. Whenever please. Bucci just decides to not do anything, I just assume that he just sits in the middle of the place and just purrs really, really loudly. Really, really loudly. Definitely. Is Bucci even saying... awake? Yeah, he is awake. <laughs> no, <laughs> no, <laughs> motherfucker. No, Um, His presence. He just I'm sits there. since 63. What about an intimidation check? That's 93, not 63. I can read. Are you sure? No. <laughs> nah, if Finley's ancient, bro. <laughs> Just like your mom. Uh, leave my mom out of this. Or you will take 86 damage. I wasn't saying yours. I wasn't talking about yours. So, um... Silver's going to shadow. Rabbit's going to... You're having Rabbit go to Spider? Or I, I kind of, like, did that nod of acknowledgement where I'm like, yeah, he'll probably do that. He does not. He literally just follows you. That's very funny. I'm glad that we're <laughs> in this together. So, uh... Stays in DMs. Stays in DMs. What is everyone else doing, or shall I go ahead and run the scenes that are available? Wow. Eclipse wins. Are you asking? I'm asking the 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 three of you that have not decided on what to do in this moment. And those three are Gumdrop, Finley, Eclipse. Okay. Cypress has got a question. What shape is Finley's amulet? It is in the shape of a snake head. But much smaller. It hangs by the teeth. As if the snake has locked on in one final bite. Also, I, I would just like to state Silver's the only one that's gotten a necklace he's had to actually like have to control and not lose and insanity to her. I will fight you. <laughs> Why? And I control Why the enemies. Remember I the number do. range I gave you. Remember that I have a maxed out light step. Nothing's gonna Remember that creatures can smell. Found. Remember, I don't care. I'm breaking the plot. <laughs> I'm pulling a Malibu. <laughs> I don't hey, care. No, hey, that's you're a rock a star. Plot, not me. Hey, no, Go play. Stop singing this song on YouTube. Love you guys. <laughs> we can copyright, sing in the post copyright, game. Copyright. 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 <laughs> okay, copyright. So, oh, um, no Ray Raven money. As Silver heads over to <laughs> Shadow, what do you propose? As I approach him. this cat being dragged by his scruff. By a cat looking worse for wear. I approach him dead on, making sure he can see me from a very long ways away. I've learned my lesson. I walk up to him casually. Shadow, Shadow what happened to you? He opens his mouth to speak. 
and then you can no longer see him as he closes his eye. Very clearly still there, just not wanting to be perceived. I inspect the area that he just left. That he, that he... Uh, you can still see that uh, uh, Spider still has a grip on his uh, scruff and is still pulling him as he's making like, like drags in the dirt. I instead walk up to Spider because he clearly doesn't want to talk and I go, what's, what's going on? What happened? Mouthful of shadow. He looks at the cat, stops for just a moment, mouth still full, flails his claws up, and then flails his claws at Shadow, who doesn't make a single sound, but you know he scored his back, and just hears, just continues dragging him along. Trying to communicate without letting this cat get away. I, like, look warily to Rabbit, kind of knowing what's happening, and it's like, um, would you want any help? Or, I I don't really know. Don't help Spider. He literally will not allow help. The only only person who allows help him is Stone. But, but Shadow's not a bad cat. I don't understand why they would get in such a bad point like that. Clearly, Shadow was not Shadow, and you're thinking of a different Shadow. But, uh, uh, when the funny NPC says clearly, you know something's wrong. What, what, what do you mean? Obviously, this is a different Shadow. There, there's, if, what, honestly, from whatever things I've seen in the forest, I wouldn't put a past it, but it, it, it's still a lot to take in. Well, it's not a lot to take in when you just had to witness the death of two cats, and when you hear death, you see shadow loom over a rabbit as he's carried spider. It's like, death? Who? Sorry, no, let me do Shadow's voice. <clears throat> Jack? Who? Oh. Uh, um... Your mind. Th- we, we went over to Claw Camp, and... Uh, Mud and... The da- Daisies, they... 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 He fully drops. Oh. As he's falling backwards, his eyes close, so you can no longer see him. But he's... You know where he landed, as you can see the outline of his body in the dust. Oh. Yeah, maybe that wasn't the best idea. Maybe not. So clearly, this shadow likes Daisy. And then when Daisy didn't like shadow, shadow killed Mud. What, 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 What? No! Never do that to Mud. He loves Mud. Wait, he loves Thanks. Mud. So clearly, he loved Mud, and then when Mud loved Daisy, he went and killed Daisy. No, there... Shadow wouldn't kill anyone, Rabbit. I know that for certain. You can never know anyone for certain. And he looks around, like, very uncanny, and stares around. Making eye contact with everyone, including Petal. And then I hold up the young child to Silver. Uh, I hold up the child to Shadow. It's just like, uh, well, <laughs> yeah. we the the kids were still. <laughs> I hate you, Fox. I hate no damn Gucci. Okay. God damn it! I, me when I <laughs> That's exactly what I was thinking, Gucci. That is that one. <laughs> just, just so rabbit hard. staring at everyone I as you think saw it. he's attempting to make an insight or not insight intimidation for all of you i, I listen man i started laughing and malibu blames me listen man i i like hold up or i kind of like show pedal and i'm like well it, the kids managed 
to live. I'm not really sure. How there is how, no but... reaction that you can clock as you're trying to show no, a cat to an invisible cat. Since Rabbit, when Shadow has his eyes what... closed, he can't be seen. R Rabbit, what, what do you want to do? I am going to go find the other Shadow, and I'm going to show him what Shadow did. <sighs> yeah, let's let's go do that. And he just... bolts off and is fully gone. I, pre <laughs> I proceed to follow him. Like, Silver wants to just get out of the situation. Um, You will notice he's running straight for Drown. Uh, oh, I God. proceed to follow him regardless. Okay, what does the rest of you guys want, want to do that's here? Leave. Leave. <laughs> <laughs> oh god silver's coming I guys back to the house <laughs> so you're not gonna tell river at all you just told shadow and dipped well they, there's four more people there of course you they also, can tell you also notice that a uh, spider is sitting like a solid half foot in the air as he sits on shadow not letting him escape So Eclipse is heading imagine home. Your, imagine the love of your life drown. dying as you, you hear that rabbit. the love of your yeah, but imagine the love of your life dies. You're completely distraught, and this teenager sits on you so you don't escape. <laughs> based. Oh, I love Very it. Based. He needs to cope. I'm telling you, Shadow needs to cope. Cope. How packs? What are you doing? Uh, you guys are in Pouts Camp currently. Feels feels bad. Probably uh, shaking <laughs> from being traumatized. Hello. Okay. Um, you are seeking something, trying to get comfort, trying to like console yourself, trying to just go home. What are you trying to do? Um, probably just got his eyes closed, trying to think of something else. Okay. Happy thoughts, happy thoughts. Um. <laughs> I read that, so that's wrong! I read that, so that's wrong! Can I hunt for the kids? <laughs> Everyone? Oh, that's fine! Yeah. Tide! He's gonna kill him! I read I, I read that sentence as hunt the kids. Hunt the kids. <laughs> what I read that sentence as. Um, Finley, are you leaving the kids behind to go hunt? And if so, where Can are you I going? Heard the kids? Uh, Eclipse, <laughs> you are going to have to roll a wisdom save to do that since I currently have the the spell sanctuary on them. You have to roll above a twenty two with a d twenty. Uh, can I put them in, like, a nursery? Um, there's a nursery in Drown, for sure. Um, there's not one necessarily in Pounce, because they haven't had to make one or build one. Uh, <laughs> Gumdrop, what are you doing? Eclipse attempt to hurt the kits and was like, mm, no, I'm good. I'll accompany Finley to drown to find a nursery. Alrighty. Um, my imagination is Gumdrop is also riding on Finley's back, making sure that uh, uh, Rose, who's fully asleep, does not fall fall off. Um, not necessarily asleep, like still asleep, but they're um, like crying in their sleep. So you can still see, like, hear, like, the sobs every once in a while. Why do you have so many Nick Wilde gifts? Like, I love it, but why? Like, some of them I don't even recognize from the movie. Finley has public Ooh. transport. Yeah, I, I mean, it's, it's honestly a bus? quite, yeah, Finley's quite the school fair. Bus so I, I left for, like, a minute, and I felt like I missed everything. Um, don't worry about the packs, don't, don't Finley, worry. Gumdrop, and Eclipse are heading back to camp. Um, and back at so camp, Hyde, Hyde, 
Douglas, and Pinecone, you hear very heavy paw steps approaching uh, the camp. It is like an hour before sundown. Mm. Not very quiet, are you? Roll a uh, perception check. Yeah. Both of you. As you, um, I'd say Tide is more like near the border. You both roll oh the my same God. number. That's great. You both notice as like, this sounds like someone's getting chased. You look towards uh, Pounce in that direction and you see a pure like speed ball of light faster than Douglas Printing at drown. And very short behind him, a blur of white and gray. But not as fast, I, right? Not as fast. Like losing I'm all fast. Yeah, I'm not as fast. I'm not Douglas. Yeah, Rabbit has Faster a Rabbit Douglas. has a movement speed of twenty two. What? Yeah. Damn it. <laughs> He's crazy. <laughs> That is his only skill, though. <laughs> he has Wait, focus, quick, and about? amnesia. I knew I should. Wait. <laughs> I knew I should have focus, See, quick. What is Douglas' speed? 18. <laughs> the cap. Oh, no. But his bash action is uh, 1.5 times his speed. Damn. I'm, like, breathing so... heavily trying to keep up with this menace. <laughs> Are you guys going to try and stop this cat at all? Do you guys want to just let him run past? Get out the way. Get out the way, Tide? Uh, time to get out the way. Pinecone is going to follow your guidance, but he's also going to step in front of you to try and like block <laughs> you from getting hurt. Child, would you get behind me? I swear to God, I'm going to As not... Rabbit makes a hard turn in the center of camp, slides, like bounces up off of the food hole pi food pile. Like finds that little up ramp where like you guys dug up. Launch itself into the air and slides sideways about like 30 feet. Continues running and goes full force into a tree. Well, that wasn't smart now, was it? What? That wasn't smart now, was it? What wasn't smart? I found it, didn't I? Running into a tree. I ran into Shadow! No, Where you ran he? into a tree. No, before I ran into a tree, I hit Shadow and I bounced yeah. off of him! Like a ricochet, you like Mom does! Off of a, you bounced off of a slope. You hit a fresh kill pile. And he's gonna jump into the fresh kill pile and start attacking. Uh, right, this is at the point where Silver would be at camp. Rabbit, please. I found him! I found him! In front of all... And he's like sticking a deeper hole for the fresh kill pile. I cannot take this character seriously, but this is truly what he oh believes. He truly believes that Shadow is in this hole. Whoops. Uh, Rabbit is furiously like clawing into the ground of the fresh kill pile. Trying to like uh hunt after this cat that you don't know he's hunting after, but he's saying he found Shadow. Wow. Well, how did y'all strip go? He found somebody stupider. Silver found somebody not as smart as him. Like, this is a big achievement. That's impossible. I know, right? But like we found it. We did it. I don't know how that's possible. Did this you is need why me? What stays and my DMs with her stays there. Did you need me? Who? I like hug a rabbit. Who? No, just that's a fresh kill pile, not shadow. Well, uh, but I I bounced off of him, he and his of lack slow. of tail goes between his legs. Rabbit, kind of you're faster than the speed low. of light. You can't see while you're running. The only problem with being faster than light is that you're in darkness. 
please direct your eye to the studio. <laughs> Where is it? <laughs> uh, so Rabbit climbs out of the um let me actually roll for this. Because Rabbit has used every ounce of his energy. Yeah. I, that did not work. Things. There we go. He needs help. We, I, I, I got that. I got that. He's, he's dug the fresh kill pile back. as like his own grave. He cannot get out. Can I help him? You can try. <laughs> go ahead and give me a. Oh a my give me ahead. Give me an athletics check. To try and pull the cat out. If it was a one, you would have fallen in there with him. <laughs> you kind of like try and reach for him, but instead, like you, you think you got him, but you pull out a dead rabbit. And for a moment, you think it's rabbit, and like you're stunned for a second. Are you helping me? Uh, hey. Um. Wait, let me just put the gra the dirt back in. And he like starts like clawing at the walls. And like trying to get the dirt lower on him. Rabbit, please, please. No, stop. Um, just stay there. We'll 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 save you. Just stay there. Oh, uh, okay. Douglas. Should, and should we help him? He like them? sits down in the center and like starts throwing the food out. Yeah. So you just keep seeing like Dead, like, dead mice, uh, uh, voles, and, uh, rabbits flying out, except for Rabbit himself. We have hmm. about an hour before it becomes illegal to be here. We need to go. Why would it be illegal to be here? You can be anywhere when the sun's down. You can't, Rabbit. You can't oh, cross the border, but I've already crossed the border. I'm gonna go take a nap. Good night. This is, this is, this is more than this is more silver on steroids. Uh, Can I go cone? watch Harry Hill's TV burp? I don't know what the <laughs> fuck that is, but probably. Um, <laughs> Pinecone is gonna go in, like look down into the hole. Can I try again to help? Rather? Jump down into the hole. And I'm doing, give, am I doing this? Give uh, Rabbit an advantage. What am I doing? Is this me? No, uh, Pinecone no, is. is pine cone. Okay, I was about to say, I heard Ty for a second. I was like, what? Um, oh. Rabbit gets out, and then Pinecone kind of just like runs around the walls of it and lo gets himself out that way. Like a reverse just coin fountain. Find gravity. Who needs gra Pinecone who needs gravity when you're no fast? Bounds. Pinecone needs no no bounds. So, uh, rabbit, uh, what what are you doing here? I I found shadow. I found shadow. N no, you didn't. What do you mean? Pinecone, pinecone, just what? believe it. Rabbit thinks he found shadow. He's gonna keep believing that. Just just say okay and nod. Okay. Oh, so like how you help me? Mm. Oh damn! Uh, somewhat. This is when uh, Gumdrop, Finley, Eclipse, and Pax show up. To find yeah. out your fresh kill pile is now eight feet deep. Hi guys. Uh, should have expected less. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Rabbit is trying to there. fill the hole back up with dirt. One mouthful at a time. Please tell me food's not in there. No, he already mouthful. threw food out. Okay, I'm making sure there's no food left in there. No, there's One, no food in the first not the there's, snot, there's a new pile. Good. A new pile. Good. I don't have to knock the snot out of a cat. Um. So, uh, what do you want me to to do in this moment? He's just 
kind of doing his own thing. I mean, he has like Let's just... a while. Yeah, but I, I think we should go. I think you should go home. What? Why? Why? It's almost sundown. It'll be dangerous for us to be out anywhere besides your camp for a while. What? What? What, what if? This place what, not what, safe. If, what if he's still there? We'll be okay as long as you're in. Uh, but I need to tell the good twin. Camp. I need to Rather tell the good shadow. Can... The evil shadow has been captured. It Wait, no, that was a good shadow. I need to tell the evil shadow that he needs to be captured. We can wait until tomorrow for that. It's mm, okay. What, what, what if he comes for you? I can be more shadow. How, how, how about this? We go to your camp together, and we can hang out all night. And then tomorrow morning, we can look for him together. Uh, promise? I promise. Okay. Let, let me know when we're leaving. And okay. he continues trying to fill in the hole that he made. I, like, walk over to Titan Pinecone. So how was your guys' adventures today? I, I don't want to talk about it. It's best of right now. We don't, we don't mention that. Okay, it's over. I, like, look at how all three of you guys are soaked and how Tide looks awful and how Pinecone looks horrible. Roll an insight. Go... Roll an insight. And I'll let y'all tell you what you can notice. Because definitely that's there. <laughs> Just roll me an insight. Just so we have the official number on the screen. You fully clock what happened. You don't know the specifics, but you know, um... Pinecone did something. Tide nearly drowned. And Douglas was there. It's another Thursday. I like, well, I like sighs. I just sigh really slowly and go. Do you guys need anything? <laughs> uh, I, I probably no. need to stop thinking about today. Let's all just go to sleep. And tomorrow's another day where we can group no, up and no talk. No floor, please. As Please don't open that floor. You guys um look into the sky. Everyone who is here can see it. But don't you dare. Don't you dare. Bright array of colors show up on this colder evening. Right before the sun would go down. It's weird to see it, but there's arrays of color. Floating through the sky. You thought I was going to do something else. It's not even nighttime. Suffer. Mm. 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 I have one thing I would like to do. Pray tell. I would like to go back towards the waves. Go on ahead. Back towards my little spot. Um, I'll look at Tide, kind of just nod at him, and then go with Rabbit home because he needs to get home. Um, is anyone else wanting to do another scene before I do a walking cool. scene with Silver and Rabbit, um, or a water adventure with Tide? I don't want to do a scene, but let them go first. Yeah, I'm just making sure I can catch up with everyone. I think I'm going to stick with the title I made. What about... What was the title for this episode? This title of the stage. Oh, I see. What is Pax doing? He was saying, uh... Guys, I think, I think the sky is angry. <laughs> I think the sky is angry. Um... It is not just within the vicinity of the camp. It is everywhere. On the trees bordering you have... the houses. Oh my god. Tur, do you get the reference? No. You have contracted the entirety of Aurora Borealis in your kitchen. <laughs> what is that? I love it. Simpsons clip. It's so good. 
I've never watched The Simpsons. I won't lie to you. I've mm. seen clips of it, and that's the best one. It's mm. just like, is there a fire in your kitchen? No, it's um, it's Aurora Borealis. You have con- somehow made managed to forecast the entirety of a Aurora Borealis in your kitchen. <laughs> well, I don't know, but oh, I think wow. you're one of the best employees we've ever seen. Just, it's good. Um, before I do anything else, um, I'm going to do a crystal check-in. Cypress. Malibu. (laughs) Yeah. Silver. What would, did Silver do anything with Willow today that required anything negative, anything positive, anything neutral? How would you rate today? So today was actually relatively positive in the talkings with Willow. Um, there was a moment where we had to see a dead wolf, which was not very fun. But that wasn't even that wasn't. I will say negative, this: you I did say. clock his range because you were a full twenty, twenty-five feet away from the wolf, and Willow could make it all the way there. Hmm. As your connection grew stronger, as a silent command was uttered, he was able to follow it. Yeah. We we did some communicating with the snake and such, so honestly, it was all pretty positive. Before you leave, you see a smaller version of Willow, as he does, like, trying to remind you he's there. Not fully emerging, but enough so you see. And you can see a formation of what looks like two small formations on either side of his cheek, where his cheek would be, of a single pair of crystals, as if a damage is being reborn, or re-fixed. Damage is being repaired, that's the word. Silver smiles at this and tries to hug a, a crystal fox, but instead just... Wolf smiles brightly at it. Crystal wolf. Wolf yeah, needs to be left. Wolf, <laughs> not fox. Oh. Um. Sorry. Cypress. Finley. What would you say Finley's react interaction with the unnamed snake? How how that went? Also, I'm going to ask you a question that's going to be permanent. What are you calling the crystal creature? The serpentine... A hundred point names for pet snake. What makes you think it's masculine? Huh? What about that, Cypress? What makes you think it's masculine? I decided it. Fair enough. I decide gender now. Hey, Cypress, can you give me one? I want one. I've not been given one. Actually, I was given one at birth, but it's been a long time since then. Like two whole decades. You want an update? A hey, software back update in the old days. <laughs> Ooh, pray tell. Nagini. Okay. So how is your re- interactions with them? What do you feel? Was it positive, negative, neutral? From the questions you asked, the interaction you had, the words shared, and the command you gave it. Without realizing you could give it a command. Yeah, you know, Finley really just up and vomited a snake. Passive agent. But, uh, what? I'm gonna say when you take another look at the snake, you notice the violet crystals are very minute 
almost hard to see, but it is constantly moving in a way that looks very natural for it. And if you wish, I could help, um, the snake would help you figure out more what it can do. So I'm going to head over to the scene with Silver and Rabbit, if no one else has anything they'd like to do. Also, if you guys are really attached to these crystals, I might make more than the story allows. We all get a stand. Please. No. What the fuck is that? JoJo reference, don't worry. Ooh, Uchi, that's don't so pretty! Oh my god. It's a bomb. Um, <laughs> oh, is, it, is it time to go? <laughs> Zara? Is it time to go? It's time to go. We should get there before it gets the sun down and then. But it, it, I, it's all, I almost a... got it filled in. I only have uh another uh three of he points at pine cone. Three of him to go to fill it up. I'm sorry. I look at the sky. What is uh can I estimate like not rolling, just estimate how long it'll be. You have enough time to help him fill in the hole. Yeah, I'll roll to help him. Uh if you're use if you're not trying to do it quickly, you can do it easily before the sun threatens uh breaking the rules. Yeah, I'll help him then. Yeah. Um kind of just filling the mistake he made and he's like trying to talk you through his theories of like good shadow, bad shadow, since you're fully convinced and he's fully convinced his stubbornness only seems to slide when you're around. I'm like talking. Instead of saying that he's wrong, I'm being like, so why do you think there's a good shadow and bad shadow? Well, if if you know that there's a... If, if it was a shadow, like if they couldn't see the cat, then it has to be shadow that did it. And he did... He, he must have done it. Wait, what did you well, do again? what if... What if there was light behind Shadow that they could see? I mean, it doesn't all... Because they couldn't see, it could just be another black cat that wasn't Shadow. I don't think Shadow would... I've, I, there, I've not met another harm. black cat. So it has... Well, I, I don't know if there is another one. If there's well, another one, then there's another know. Shadow. Well, you don't know if there is another black cat that could be, but I know that Shadow would never hurt mud and definitely not hurt daisy because he knows how important those cats are to them or shadow's family too so Just, there's like, there's a lot to talk about so like m mother and brothers for me how like i wouldn't hurt them but it happens accidentally because i can't control where i'm going exactly but he would never kill them that's he would never like how you would never kill your siblings just by an accident. I almost that did. Wouldn't I bounced against a tree and the tree fell and it almost landed on Spider. He was really mad at me, not because of it, because of himself, but he was mad that I almost hurt Stone. Who is who is Stone? If I can, can you tell me about Stone? Uh, yeah. Um. Stone is a, um, what's the word, a fairy user? Like, uh, he, he uses the plants and the water and the twigs and the, the, the vines, and he does great things. So he, I think Kite... Healer? I think that's what Tide called himself. A healer, yeah. Stone is a healer from, um, Drown. No. Pounce. Wait, no. And he stops filling in the hole, like, in, 
like stretches his paws in front of him, like trying to like count the number of camps. He's from Fly. Wait, no, that's not a camp. Uh, Claw? No, wait, Claw's dead. Overpower. Is that one? Overpower is a camp. Yes. How about we ask? Oh, he's, okay. from, he's from Overpower. I'm sure of it. And you remember hearing that sure of it before. He is fully convinced. How about we ask Spider on our way back? Well, he's, gonna, he's on the way. We're double, double. Pardon? He's on the way. He only ever comes over like twice a day, and then sometimes during the night. Is is Spider from your camp? Yeah. Spider is from Pounce Camp. Uh, both my brothers and my mom are. Well, let's just head back. I think it's getting a little too late. Um, the hole is going I'm not back a... up to near perfection. Still a little bit deeper than it used to be, but that's because a rabbit actually swallowed some of the, the dirt he was trying to put in the hole. Sounds about right for rabbit. <laughs> and you guys head on back. So, wait, so you said Spider's on the way here? We'll meet him when we get to Pounce Camp, right? Uh, uh, probably. Right, so we can ask him where, uh, uh, I mean, I can ask him about Stone. I don't really know Stone at all, so yeah, I feel um, like he would know him best. Okay. I mean, so, I'm pretty sure um, I know Stone. I could tell you about him. Sure. What, what do you know about Stone? Uh, Stone is a gray and black cat. <gasps> black cat. Wait, no. Focus. Um, Stone is a healer? That's the word he said. Healer He's from... distracted like me. He's also stupid. I love Rabbit He so is much. a healer from Overpower. The leaders of Overpower are Root and Stripes, and the leaders of Fight are Jaw and Tree. The leaders of Drown is Ele no, Pinecone. Leader of Pounce is Mama. Leader of Claw Mama. is Mud and Daisy. And what was I saying? Stone. Oh, Stone. Uh. Uh, Stone is a healer from Overpower, and he really likes spending time with Spider. And one of the things that I've seen him do is once there was a there was a, a fox who was threatening a Spider, and he jumped from the tree. He was sitting at, and then I, the fox was like fully, I I don't know a word, um, calm, Dead. calm for like like fifteen seconds. Like he didn't want to attack anymore, or he didn't, or wouldn't, or can't. I don't know. All I know is that he's from Overpower. His name is Stone. He's a healer. He once punched a fox and it calmed down for 15 seconds. And then he he saved he saved Shining Stone. I remember I watched him. Because Shining Stone wasn't moving. She wasn't moving like or breathing for like a 30 seconds. And then Whoa. he like ran really? over and did Something. I didn't exactly see him what he saw because I was already like getting ready to go tell whatever the other rogue was, wherever he went. I don't remember where Mama put him. He he was I was told not to tell where he went, but then I forgot where he went. So that makes me a good secret keeper. Speaking of secret keeper, what what what, what was I saying again? Uh, Are you I you telling I me think secret? I learned enough. Uh, sure. Oh. Oh, you were telling me a secret? Oh, I can tell you a secret. Um, I don't have a tail. Uh, 
you don't you don't have to tell me a secret. I did tell you a secret. Um, um well, I don't really know what to ask. Uh, um, I, I don't have a tail. That's my secret. You don't that's a that's a pretty interesting secret. I know. I don't think anyone else knows. And you guys are at the border of um at the border of pounce. Um Finley, give me a hunt roll. You're gonna roll two D fours. Actually no, you're gonna roll two D six. And that is how much prey you're able to gather. You find a very rudimentary, like, natural-built nursery, which is where Pinecone has been sleeping before he slept in Elipes, uh, or the leader's den. And you are able to gather, like, six servings for these uh, young cats, so they'll eat for, like, two days. Because you catch, like... You find an an old, not an old, you find like a rather large bird and like a couple rabbits, able to hunt them down. Even with your age, you have like quite the agility. Um, I sat on, you sat on the rabbit. If no one has any quarrels, I'm going to see if I can't get them to like wrap the closing scene of this episode with Tide by the Water. So the moon has just began to rise. Um, and you feel the wave being pulled and pushed. And the strength of the waves, not quite able to move the sand in front of you. And the thought crosses your mind of a cat you haven't seen in a long time. A cat that was lost because of saving someone else. And her visage crosses your mind. You see. You. Oh, we'll let you. No, I'll go. I'll see you. You see the wave, the sea foam, kind of building up on this wave, crashing. And the, and the foam starts to, like, fizzle away as another wave of sea foam is brought up. And the process continues. You're lost in this loop of watching the waves. The stage is yours. You saved me, didn't you, mother? And uncharacteristically, as the, the 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 lake was ebbing, you feel your paws soaked by the next wave, and in between your paws, you feel a small stone, and that is where I'm going to call this episode. Episode 6, Left in the Woods. Thank you guys for joining us on this episode. I want to thank Arvi for playing Gumdrop, Malibu for playing Silver, Bud for playing Apaxagomenon, Cypress for playing Finley, Doug Douglas being played by Jazz, Foxley for playing Tide, and, Ecli and Bucci for playing Eclipse. Thank you all for watching, and have a great Malibu rest of your day, Jeff. and may your skies be ever clear. See ya! Bye, everybody. Bye.